Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more State of Decay 2. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the ultimate guide to the traits system of State of Decay 2. So there's over a thousand different traits that's going to affect how you play this game in the long run with different things being able to buff your max health, your skills, as well as your resistance to infection and all sorts of other things that we're going to be going over in this video. So by now, most of you guys are probably either really deep into your first playthrough or starting up your second playthrough so this is where you guys are going to end up on your screen if you guys do a second playthrough of the state of decay 2 story so you're going to go in here and you're going to want to skip the tutorial of the game which is going to give you access to three survivors that you can continuously roll until you get them exactly how you want them and now we're going to go over just some of the the highest tiered skills i guess you could say or traits that will give your character the most buffs in the long run for instance if you start a new game so the first one being Hardy, down here at the bottom. These are in no particular order, guys, here. And it gives you plus 10 max health as well as minus 33% injury severity. So you're going to have a lot less chance of getting injured. And then it's also going to increase your max health. Those are probably the injure, injury severity and max health are probably the two most, most good ones, I guess you could say, to have on your character. Here we can see this one is can't or can sleep anywhere. Can sleep anywhere. That one I just kind of threw in here because this is going to minus one beds used. So this one you don't actually have to have a bed for this person. So you could have, you know, certain complexes and facilities in your base and you might have, you know, eight beds and nine people, but if they have this skill, it'll make it so that your morale for your for your base is not going to go down. Next one here we have hard as nails. So this one is a little bit obviously a higher tier than Hardy was at the start there. This one is plus 30 max health as well as minus 50% injury severity. So this one's going to make your character a lot tougher. It's going to be less susceptible to injury when you're going up against zombies and ferals and that kind of thing. So this is one of the best ones actually in the game. This one actually took me a while rolling characters to find it. It is unbreakable. So you have minus 100% injury chance, which means I'm, I'm assuming that you cannot get injured. And then also with that, you're going to have plus 45 max health which is going to be huge obviously you're still going to go down on your health but you will not get injured when you are fighting next here we have tough so it's obviously not as top tier as some of the other ones i think this is really close to the same if not exactly the same as hardy but it adds 10 max health as well as 30 uh, minus 33 percent injury severity and then down there at the bottom the love spicy food obviously if you have an upgraded kitchen you're going to have a morale boost as well as you have 10 max stamina that's not a bad one here we have Daredevil. This is the one that uh, I thought would be really cool to have with some other stuff because it kind of balances out. So you have plus 30 max health as well as minus 33% injury severity. And some of these ones that I'm talking about in this video, guys, I'm not sure if they can actually roll together, but we're going to talk about like the ultimate survivor here at the end of the video. So you guys will see next here we have Immortal. So this is obviously another very good one here. We have plus 45 max health as well as minus 50% injury severity. And if there is by chance, we can actually roll these and get super, you know, super duper lucky and get these rolled with some of the other ones in State of Decay 2, you will have the ultimate survivor. Here we have never been sick. So you have plus 100% or basically, excuse me plus 100 infection resistance so i'm assuming this is going to make it so like for instance if you get um hit by a blood plague zombie it's going to take you know obviously a lot slower for you or a lot more hits i guess you could say from a blood plague zombie to actually contract the blood plague virus um but uh, only time will tell i'm not 100 sure on exactly how that one works next here we have hard to kill so it is plus 45 max health as well as minus 50 percent injuries for you that's pretty close to i think it was um, Immortal. Immortal, I think, was very, very close to that skill, almost identical. So a lot of these are very close. They're just called different things. As well, here we can see Incredible Immune System. It's pretty much the same as Never Been Six. It's plus 100 infection resistance. So these are just some of the skills, like I said, that uh, you might want to try to roll together. If not, at least have a few survivors with these skills because this one alone is going to make it so that if, for instance, you're going up against Blood Plague Zombies, you're going to have a lot more hits, I guess you could say, before you contract the actual Blood Plague Virus. Next here we have Heavy Hitter which this one obviously is probably one of the lower tier ones that I have in the video, but it's plus 25% fighting experience rate, which when you're fighting, obviously when you're doing melee hits, which most of the time in State of Decay 2, you guys are using melee weapons. Me personally, I use melee weapons more than I do actually ranged weapons and stuff. So next we have high pain threshold. So you have plus 50% fighting experience rate as well as plus 30 max health, which obviously when you're going up against a lot of enemies when you are doing melee stuff, it's going to make it so that, you know, obviously you can uh, level up your experience with uh, all the melee stuff that you're going to be doing as well as add to the health. So here is my ultimate survivor that I kind of 
kind of mixed in some of the traits and stuff here to make the ultimate survivor so we have plus 100 infection resistance at the top then we have unbreakable which is 100 minus injury chance as well as plus 45 max health and then we also have immortal which is plus 45 max health as well as minus 50 injury severity so we're gonna basically not get injured not have any injury severity and then we're gonna have a total of plus 90 health and then also plus 100 you know infection resistance which that that would be an ultimate survivor if that's actually a thing where you can roll these skills and stuff on you know with each other but that is pretty much going to do it for the video guys i just kind of wanted to go over some of these top tier traits that maybe not you guys you know you guys maybe not have seen all of those traits and stuff so when you're starting a new game and you're rolling your characters to get these special traits and stuff make sure to keep an eye out because there are some really really good ones that i think you guys would definitely want to have on your survivors but uh, like i said that's all for the video if you guys enjoyed it you guys found it helpful you guys are excited to see all these really cool traits like i said there's over a thousand different trait combinations and traits and stuff in state of decay 2 the devs went super hard with the amount of different traits and stuff that's in the game but if you guys enjoyed it you guys found it helpful make sure to slap a like on the video also if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things state of decay 2 i'm going to be trying to continue my daily uploads giving you guys all the ins outs tips and tricks and information that you need to know about state of decay 2 moving forward but that is all for now thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys later peace out